We know that some of you might have had kids that grew up watching Dora the Explorer adventuring through the rainforest. Some of you might have even watched it yourself. And I think I'm sitting next to someone <laughs> that watched a lot of episodes. Well, each episode showed everyone's favorite bilingual explorer solving puzzles and inviting viewers to speak Spanish. Well, now a whole new generation can get involved. We need your help. Uno, dos, tres, vámonos. Dora, Boots, Map, and Swiper are all back in 26 brand new episodes of Paramount's Dora, packed with an updated animation style and new character-driven storylines. Now, this comeback will feature someone voicing Dora, someone new, and the original voice actor as Dora's mother. I love that. We have the pleasure of having both Mommy and Dora on the show. Good morning to Kathleen Erles. And of course, moving uh, up, we are also talking to Diana Zermano. Welcome, ladies. First off, congratulations on your new series. The show has really made a big mark in television history when it premiered back in 2000. My oldest son, Wesley, used to love Dora, <laughs> the Scarlet Macaw, and Swiper Stop Swiping. But my first question <laughs> is, what does it feel like to have the original voice of Dora now playing Dora's mom? Yeah, I mean, it's it's emotional for me. Um, it's a full circle moment for my life. Dora was such a big part of my childhood. Um, so to be able to be back, especially as her mom is so cool. Um, and I'm just so excited for everyone to see the new show. I think everyone's going to love it. Well, Kathleen, this is almost like a passing of the baton moment. Like you said, it's so emotional. So what were the words of advice that you gave Diana prior to working on this series? Um, so I actually just recently met Diana. Um, and I remember when I first heard her voice in the booth recording, you know, for mommy for the first time. And I started crying because Aww. her voice is so cute. I could hear, you know, a little bit of myself in her voice and just all those memories came flooding back and she doesn't need any advice she's doing an awesome <laughs> job you know taking this iconic role and doing it justice i i'm just so excited for this new generation to embrace her to love her as dora and to you know see how she she's taking on this legacy it's amazing well and we want to click take a pick at a moment in time diana it was something i really appreciated about the original series was that it built a bridge between communities right there was the fusion of english and spanish and and my kids learning spanish little bits at a time through watching dora what do you think the new generation will take from you stepping into this role i honestly feel like they'll they'll really feel like i mean if I mean Dora is a uh, Mexican, Cuban, and Peruvian, but she is like really great representation for um, you know our Latino community. But um, I feel like so many kids that are now going to grow up with this new version of Dora, um, they might feel like like they see themselves in her because you know Dora is here to make everyone feel included and everyone feel like they're part of the experience and you know the um adventures and everything but also dora is here to make a change and you know she made that change all those years ago um when it first came out because you know you you didn't really see a lot of you know Lat latino um like shows or shows where the main character is a latina girl um but dora did that and it's still doing that now. So I feel like it's very important um, still now as it was back then. Well, we have been talking about females trailblazing in so many different avenues all morning long. So thank you to the both of you for joining us this morning and congratulations. Hey, Kathleen, before we leave, Claudia, our sure. producer was so excited for this oh. segment. <laughs> She's one of the little girls who grew up hearing you and your work. Oh, Could you just say hi to Claudia this morning because it would make her day to hear in your voice a hello to our beautiful Claudia. Sure. Hi, Claudia. If you see Swiper, say Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, I, I have a feeling Claudia just fell over in her chair in the control room. That's what it's really all about, right? Lighting people up. This is your community station. Thank you so much, yes. Kathleen and Diana. Congratulations to paving a new generation of fans. The first 20 episodes of Dora will be available to stream tomorrow on Paramount+. Plus. Beautiful morning to Thank both of you. Thank you.